Just received the bike this morning, so these are my initial thoughts. For the price, the bike's quality and completeness are impressive. It does have some weight to it, as expected with e-bikes, but that's part of the territory. The packaging was top-notch. However, be prepared for plenty of heavy zip ties that require a razor knife, sturdy scissors, or wire cutters to tackle. Assembling the bike was a breeze thanks to the clear instructions and diagrams provided. Despite taking my time, I managed to put it together in less than 90 minutes. There was just a minor hiccup in the instructions regarding the bolts for the derailleur guard, as they were already screwed into the bike frame instead of being in the box. Even for someone new to bike assembly, this should be manageable. Plus, all the necessary tools are included. The initial test ride was a bit surprising. While the manual explains how to use the electric assist controls, it doesn't delve into how the bike responds. Setting the controller to level 1 and starting to pedal, I found the bike taking off unexpectedly fast, leading me to instinctively hit the brakes. It turns out I was unintentionally twisting the right hand grip, which operates similarly to a motorcycle throttle. Once I got the hang of it, though, everything went smoothly. You can choose between assist levels 1 through 5 for pedaling or twist the grip to ride like a motorcycle. Level 1 provides a subtle boost, while level 5 feels like the bike is doing most of the work. Another minor surprise was the lack of deceleration when releasing the hand grip, akin to a gas-powered motorcycle. Instead, the bike simply coasts, a bit obvious in hindsight. I'm sure these nuances will become second nature with more time in the saddle.